Tressie Brownlee. I'm Associate Brand Manager for CKE Restaurants, more specifically on the international side of the business. Um, we have a broad franchisee network of over 100 franchisees that operate over 1,000 restaurants in close to 40 countries. It was not working. It was one externally managed by an outside agency that one didn't understand, um, you know, our current product offerings, didn't understand our, um, you know, brand as a whole. So um, not only was it external, it was um, pretty chaotic. Uh, you would search and you wouldn't have the capabilities that we have now on Intelligence Bank, um, where we can really refine our search, where we could tag assets, where we could organize and build out our assets in a really easy to follow folder structure. It was just imagine walking into a big warehouse with no shelves and no labels and you just had to you had to dig until you found what you were looking for. Um, so if you'll look at the slide we have here, um, this is the homepage of our CKE Digital Library. Um, and I guess I should start with that. First and foremost, we gave our library an identity. Um, it's not just a dam, it's not just a capsule, um, which is kind of what we referred to it before. We really gave it a name and kind of a face. Um, we branded it. Um, you can see our brand colors, yellow, red, black. Um, the font you see is our brand font that we use across um, a lot of our creative and our POP kits and stuff like that. So um, we, one, made it recognizable that as soon as people got on, they were like, I'm in the right place and I know where to go from here because I have all of these tiles built out in front of me. I don't have to look really hard. I don't have to try to connect a bunch of dots. For our team, it really worked out well to have one person um, that was just really kind of the face of the library and that was associated. So especially when you're not working in the same room as these people, let alone in the same country or the time zone, uh, really giving them a person that they can reach out to and ask for help. Users do have the ability to just go on our um, CKE library homepage and then they can self-register. Um, but more times than not, they reach out to me directly and I'll get them set up um, because when, when I, they reach out to me directly, I know where they're coming from as far as what franchisee group or what region they're coming from. And I'll go ahead on my end. This is another reason why it's really great to have a person that's designating, designated and owning your library um, because I can put them in a specific group. I can give them permissions to you know regional specific folders that we've built out. Um, something that they won't have to follow up with an email six months down the road asking for permission. The, the to-do list might seem really, really long, but I think the list of pros at the end of it greatly outweigh um, that list. So if you're um, you know, planning your calendar for the year and you know that there's a, a time in the year that's a little bit slower, whether it's right after the holidays at the beginning of the year um, or over the summer, where you can really just prioritize doing all the nitty gritty work to make your library come to life, I would encourage you to do it because it's it's been an incredible asset. Um, for us and for our franchisee network. So just encouragement. That's all I would really say.